Is it going? Yes! yes. Sweet! Hey. <laughs> Good to see you again. Welcome um, to the producer's vlog. Uh, what do we uh, what do we have today? New episode. Did you guys watch it? Mm, yeah. I'm sure you did. Good. It'd be really weird if you just watched the vlog, sort of like you do quantum television viewing, where you just you judge what the show is like based on based on what it affects instead of the show itself. But no, we had a lot of fun last night. Indeed. New episode. We had Benjamin Noe on. We talked about uh, the uh, constitutional changes in student government. So that was cool. Uh, and then we had Lizzie Helpling on. We talked a little bit about some of the things that class councils are doing. And then I challenged Ben to a Jeopardy game. Indeed, you did. Yeah. And who was the winner of that again? Ben was. There you go. By a dollar. But here's, so here's the story on that. You can go to j-archive.com if you want to find more information about this. We actually used actual questions from the January 31st, 2012 uh, episode of Jeopardy. But Ben and I and the third gentleman on the show, Gabriel Orlett, who made a special appearance, Jabril, as I like to call him, are all actual former contestants on the Jeopardy team tournament. This is not like a, like a thing we made up. It was just by coincidence, all three of us had that thing. So we just figured, boom. And actually, Ben did not know about it until he showed up to shoot, which was fun. Surprise! Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that was cool. Uh, we had Ben. Um, we, uh, his last name is Noe. Noe, yes. My, my bad. My uh, hooked on phonics apparently did not work for me. Well, it's because <laughs> we, we are not taught to pronounce the N-O-E, like the E is a long E. Uh, I, I made a boo-boo of my own, uh, as well, regarding last names, and uh, you may have noticed it in the closing credits, uh, and I've corrected this for the version of the cl closing credits that'll, that you'll be able to see uh, if, you, if you watch the show online. Um, the uh, building manager at Washington Hall, uh, the assistant program editor of Washington Hall, but she's, she's essentially a building manager, is named Kat Van Leet. She does a lovely job, you know, she's very nice. Like, uh, always glad to see us. She's got all the keys. Like, there's a lot of stuff that would not happen right if it weren't for Kat. So I figured, hey, we should put Kat in the credits. Why not? I, several years ago, worked with an actress in a production of Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, uh, whose name was Kat McFadden. Um, and, I don't know, in the process of deciding I'm going to give Kat Van Vliet a credit for building manager in the most recent episode, I just typed in building manager Kat McFadden. Uh, and that would be impossible for a Kat McFadden to be our our building manager because she lives in California and Washington Hall is, is definitely in Indiana. Although, I mean, she's she is an actress, so I don't know where... I don't know what you're up to right Maybe now, Kat. I'm sure it's great stuff because you're a very talented woman. Uh, break legs, no matter what you're doing, but um, there you go. Maybe it was her. Maybe it was. Playing Kat. Mm. Kat oh, playing Kat. Oh, maybe I... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. She's cats. She's not that good an actress. Uh, okay. Um, the shirt. The shirt. So we are going to propose a question to all of our viewers. So far in our two years, we've had a green shirt and a blue shirt. So I want to know what color shirt do you think is going to come out in the spring? So like our page on Facebook. Let us know what your predictions are. And our next episode, hopefully, we'll be looking ahead to the unveiling of the 2012 shirt. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll have a conversation with Eric Byro, the student union treasurer, and, uh, uh, and other folks who are affecting that decision. Everybody loves the shirt. We do. It's a great tradition. It is. And, you know, I, I love t-shirts. So. T-shirts? I wore a t-shirt today, actually. And do you know why? Because ordinarily I wear collars, but mainly I wanted to make the point that NDTV loves you. We do. So you should Very much watch. This so this is a little, this is like emotional blackmail. Because <laughs> you should watch NDTV because NDTV loves you. Why ban it? But what's especially awesome is that, it's, unfortunately it's why there won't be a producer's vlog next week. But what's, it, what's awesome about it is that it's spring break. So um, rate Yay. responsibly. And, As uh, always. What are you doing for spring break, Allie? I am going back to my original home in Orlando. Going to Disney and Sweet. visiting some family and then taking the trip to the second home back in Atlanta. Liking it, liking you know? it. How about you? I am going to Rome with the liturgical choir. Indeed I am, you are. I am excited about that. I don't think I've ever been quite so excited about anything ever. And uh, hopefully I'm going to introduce the Pope to our show. Good. He, he would Please really do. Enjoy it. He'd yeah. be an awesome follower. I think he would. 
Yeah. And then all of Notre Dame should watch because the Pope watches. That would be the greatest endorsement ever. And remember, 10 years at Indy TV celebrating a decade of competence. See you in a few more weeks. <laughs>